Here now, Freedom Works economist Steve Moore joins us. Steve, good to see you. So, again, we have these ratings. They look forward. You have Democrats right now trying to look back to Donald Trump. This is really about spending and promises that have been made that are really hard to fund with our government, isn't it, Steve? It is. Yeah, it is. And look, let me just assure you, because you're a financial network, the chances that the United States government is get, are going to uh, default on the debt are very, very close to zero. So shame on Fitch. I think this is outrageous, actually. It's all politics. It really is. And it's more likely that, you know, uh, Joe Biden would win the Boston a marathon that we would default on our debt. The full faith and credit of the United States government stands behind our debt. And so, uh, but let me put it this way. If, if uh, U.S. Treasuries aren't AAA, then what the heck is, right? These are, these are the uh, safest investments you can make. Now, that being said, Sean, you're exactly right that we do have a debt crisis, and, and we, it is completely out of control. And Biden has added $6 trillion in two and a half years to the debt. So how can he blame that on Trump? Well, Fitch tried to. Fitch tried, and l let me mention him <laughs> by know. name. Richard Francis, a senior director at Fitch, told Reuters on Wednesday, and there are also additional reports, they yeah. met with the Treasury Department and in part blamed the January 6th riot as evidence of right. problems with U.S. governance. And in the last 12 months under <laughs> Biden, yeah. they have borrowed $2.3 trillion, $5 billion per right. day. Exactly. Yeah, for, to blame this on, uh, on the Republicans in Congress, look, we had a debt crisis earlier this year on the debt limit, and the Republicans are the ones who said, we don't want to raise the debt limit until we come up with some kind of deal that reduces the debt. And, and by the way, it's not just Fitch. All of these credit rating agencies are completely corrupt. You know this, Dagan. You followed these markets for a long time. I mean, these are the same credit rating agencies that back in 2008 were giving AAA bond ratings to the mortgage-backed securities. Remember that, Dagan? And boy, that didn't turn out so well. So they're corrupt, they're incompetent, but that doesn't, look, we do have a debt crisis. We have to do something about the out of control government spending. No one has been saying that more consistently than I have, but this is just fear mongering and trying to use the debt as some kind of a, a political weapon, which I think is absurd. And long in advance of the debt limit, Republicans, to your point, passed uh, a bill to raise the debt limit. Uh, so don't, don't forget that, Fitch. I want to get your take on this right. before you go because you're a Chicago guy, Steve. Illinois is changing the standards to be a police <laughs> officer. The state will now allow non-citizens to be cops. What is going on in your home state? Yeah, well, first of all, we do need more cops in Chicago, as you know. I mean, you've been to Chicago many times, and we have a crime infestation problem. Uh, I'm surprised they want to hire any new cops. But uh, the fact is, why can't we buy, we hire people who are well-qualified, who are American citizens? But my gosh, you know, you go down Michigan Avenue these days, which is the, one of the jewels of America, one of the great shopping areas in the country, and you can't do it anymore. you got to worry about a drive-by shooter taking a shot at you. So crime is rampant in Chicago, just as it is. You saw what happened to the NAACP in Oakland saying, we, blacks can't live in this city any longer with crime out of control. And yeah. the guy to blame on this, Dagan and Sean, is George Soros, who basically is not allowing criminals to be convicted of their crimes and put in prison. Well said. Steve Moore, always great. Thanks for joining us. Appreciate it.